Hi, my name is John Lekon Drojaye. I'm the Executive Creative Director of Camera Boy Media Services, a media and photography company based here in Lagos State, Nigeria. And we have our branches in Enugu State and Ekiti State. And of course, I am from Ekiti State, Nigeria, Edo Ekiti to be precise. I finished and graduated from the prestigious University in Ikwetumodu, that is Odudua University, Ikwetumodu, where I studied mass communication and I, of course, graduated. <laughs> yes, that's my story. No, I think I never thought I would become a photographer in my life. However, there were, there were times when we were young that we play around with cameras. Ah, mommy, snap! And we hi. I'm a bad photographer, but however, we never thought of becoming a photographer. All my life, I'd wanted to become a lawyer. Yes, I want to be going to law courts and be suing people. But fortunately for me, I was not. I was given admission as a mass communication student, where I learned the nitty gritty of multimedia, and from then, I chose the electronic media. Then that's what I'm doing presently. However, it's just a talk of war between me and my parents. Like. You can't go to school, graduate with the first class, and be doing photography. But here I am. I'm still doing it. All glory to God. First, as a photographer, it's 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 hard to convince people about the singular fact that photography is an honorable profession. Like, is a professional profession. If there's anything like that. Now, it's hard to convince the people, and it's now more difficult to convince your parents. Uh, but till tomorrow, my mom will still say, ah, hello, my dear, I'm a photographer. What's your job? You know, a typical Nigerian parent, and I appreciate her for the love. It's just because she loves me, that's why she's very much concerned about my well being. However, people will never think photographers are serious minded people they see photographer photography as a roadside job so when you say ah hello camera boy i want to do my wedding and i say ah okay ma your price is so so so, so. they will go like ah ah me for the last song i'm like come on come on it's not for the last song so away from away from the environment it's also hard for a startup in nigeria to start from nothing and build up to a stage where you call yourself a business owner. Like, equipments are freaking expensive. And if you know what I mean, to get good equipment, to become a professional photographer, you need good equipment and an apt knowledge about the, about the, about photography. So to get the knowledge is one thing because you have and few of um, media schools in Nigeria. And thank God, new ones are springing up fast, then secondly, the equipment are pretty much like very expensive. It's very hard. So it's a very tedious challenge that SMEs in Nigeria don't have the opportunity to get fantastic loan loan from, from governments or financial bodies where we could just pay back. But this is Nigeria. Look how I'm living now. Everybody is a criminal. This is Nigeria. <laughs> Do I have any fear? I don't really have it. I don't have fears. In this profession, I, no, I ain't got no worries. I ain't got no worries. Some people used to think for the, for camera, phone cameras would come and knock out video cameras and photo cameras, iPhone X and iPhone X Max and just, well, listen, they're she ain't doing nothing to our business. Like we, we stand firm on our ground. This, this is a profession. It's just, it's just like saying, because they are, they are, they are, fast cars now is going to knock airplane out of business because they are ferraris that speed so fast that people would rather be in a ferrari than fly from here to wherever they're going to it still all boils down to the singular fact that this is a profession because you can prescribe prastamol and a particular drug for yourself when you're sick does not make you a doctor because you have a good phone that can snap pictures does not make you a professional photographer Shango. That's all. Okay, uh, talking about big projects we've executed over the years. Uh, let me just 
let me just right on school you down the memory lane let me just cut down from this part where the first thing we did that was massive last year was an outreach in a local environment where we had a free photography session for a week stretch for roadside photographers and aspiring professional photographers we we, we taught them a lot and there was there was a lot of information we gave out for free and as people know that knowledge is power so we give out a lot of knowledge like everything i have i give it out to those guys and now i'm really happy that um, i check those their pictures out on ig i see them on my facebook page they are really doing good for themselves uh late this year we we in partnership with an, an ngo we did um another training here in lagos the first one was in ekiti then another one here in lagos we did the training here in Lagos. Then, thirdly, uh, above all projects we've ever done, the singular fact that my clients are happy with my job is more than enough projects for me. And to 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 that extent, I remember briefly that a couple of months back, a client called me and was like, "Hi, John." I just I'm just going through my pictures again and I saw my photo book and I just flipping through and the memories just keep on coming back to me you did a fantastic job send me your account details and I was like fantastic these are good clients this is a good client but away from the money though the money was important she sent me some couple of thousands though the money was important too however I had that inner joy that this particular project that we did early 2017 is still ever fresh and lingering in the mind of these clients and that was fantastic for me and in the kind of business we do it's all about when you execute a project properly the project will speak for itself and recommendation will be coming from far and near and that singularly gives me uh, a very large joy and uh, however talking about the project we've executed this year in uh, this year we we did what we call the 60 days challenge which was inspired by a motivational speaker so the 60 days challenge circled around the camera gang that is the camera boy crew shooting every day for 60 days i it's it was it was it was <sighs> was a project like we were shooting every day for 60 days and we are producing those pictures you can check them out yourself and be the judge don't take my word for it it's on our ig page like it was massive we were on our toes, people were looking out for the next day's picture and do everybody just want everybody wants us to be successful in the project and we thank God it was a fantastic success. Ah <clears throat> I will not lie. I will not lie here. I will not lie. Ah Inspiration, that's a strong word though. You don't know why it's going on. Okay, extensively, I think inspiration comes from above all, from God. Leave it or take it. From God. Because uh, T.Y. Bello said, I, I was in a conference where she spoke and she was telling us about how she gets her inspiration. And ever since then, I tried it and it works for me. He said, God is the source of the living water. And whoever drink from him will never be thirsty. So if you see the living water from God as a source of creativity for you and your business and for your products and for your creative work, you will never run dry because God never runs dry of creativity. So I think extensively it's directly from God. Sometimes I, I wake up and I say, guys, let's do this shoot today. And Eventually, we start cooking things together. Some shoots that we eventually, like, we did a shoot a couple of years back, a couple of this year, it went very viral. Like, it went, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. We did the shoot in less than five, like, in less than five minutes. It was just, Lekon, what's up? I called, that's my manager. Lekon, hi. That's is a partner too. Lekon, he, he came around and he, we sat him down. We're like, oh, yeah. Let's do this thing now. So okay, we arranged it in less than five minutes. The pictures were out, and pff, the pictures were just everywhere. And there's some pictures we sit down. Ah, you will think about it for like five weeks. You will not shoot it. It's only five people that will like it. So at the end of the day, I think inspiration is spontaneous. Depend how you connect to the spirit more. So you need to love God, or whatever other inspiration you can get. But for me. God is my source of inspiration. However, I won't take it away from crazy 
massive photographers that I check their pages and I will just be naturally inspired. I'll be like, wow, so this could be achieved. I'm going to do it. But, you know, there's no creative heart. There's no artwork that is exactly the same. So even recreating someone's job, it has to be different. I also have my touch and that my touch is God's touch. You know what I'm saying? That's how we read. All right, um, extensively, I think, and I know for certainty, that the fear of hunger is the beginning of wisdom. Ah, hunger is a good drive. For me, maybe I, I can never be hungry in Jesus' name, yes. But fear of failure too is, it's like, it's a massive drive. Like, when you, when you, you can't, you can't sleep when you, when you know that failure is chasing you. I don't know why, I, you can't sleep when you know that, when you sleep too much. Even the Bible says, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of hands. So shall your poverty come, like it's even the night. It just come on you, bah, unexpectedly. So at, extent, at the end of the day, motivation is, I'll be what drives and motivates me is all about the environment. Things are happening every day. Cre we are in the creative industry. You cannot but want to do more. You stand up. I will wake up one morning and I'll be like, let's pour somebody's child water today. Let's call a model. Make her up. Pour water on her after the makeup. Let's call her under gear. Let her, let her, let's lit her up with fire. Let's pour under her. Let's pour Gary on her. You will just, because you don't want to fail. I can't fail myself, I can't fail God, I can't fail my parents, I can't fail my girlfriend, I can't fail my people. And a lot of people believe in me, they trust in me, they be like, it's John Lacon, so I'm going to follow him. And they follow him because it's John Lacon. Those guys, I can't disappoint them. Like, I cannot, no, no. When I'm not high on cheap drugs, I can't disappoint them. So, that's my drive. That is like, there's fire burning behind me, that fire is chasing me, so me, I'm running. The fire is chasing me. That's the way it works. That's how we roll. It took me a lot of hard work. Yeah, I'm not, no, I don't use the hard work because I don't think I'm hard working. Some people are more hard working than me, but I'm just graced. So it took me, extent, let, monetarily, I started with 250,000 naira. 250,000 naira. Yeah, approximately. That was how much I got a camera. I got the camera, I got a lens and a flash. That was all. Um, a speed light. That was all I got to start the photography business. And in a part of sacrifice, I think I sac before I could get 250000 as an undergraduate, I've sacrificed hunger, time, doing jobs, trying to get money from everywhere. So that's that's the thing that cost me. My basic principle uh, is humanity. Like I just want to be fair to everybody. Like I want to I want to be able to help. I want to be able to to impact my society. That's the principle. So it's like my my life is built around let's come together and fix stuff. Humanity is the is the new religion, right? So when you are nice to people, naturally things just fall in pleasant places for you. That's my principle. But have I ever tried to quit at any point? Yes. Even till like day before yesterday. I wanted to give up. I like, ah, oh, I'm done. Where's my CV? Let me rebrand it. And I'm a good graphic designer. Let me see my CV, eh? God, you will trip. You will give me a job in your company. So as a good graphic designer, I feel like day before yesterday, I was so tired. Like, how, when will this, when, when will it get to a point where you say, yes, I have arrived. But, as I've said earlier, it's always, there's, at every junction, there's a new turn. So when you get to a place, you have to take another new turn, you take another route, take another route. And that's the way you, so that thing can be frustrating. Like, 
like Dangote can say, my business is successful now, I can go to another thing. But if you're in the creative industry, you cannot say your business is successful now and you can go to another thing. Go and ask Moabudu, the owner of Ebony Life TV. Moving up. By definition, success to me is how many lives you can you have impacted, basically. Success to me is impartation. Like, how many lives have you impacted? Because judging from the scripture, success to God is how many people you have brought to him with what you have. So success to me is how many lives have I impacted? Like, you don't have a job, I give you a job. That's important to me. That's why I wanted to own a company, like a big media company. You don't have a job and you're creative and you can do this stuff. I give you a job, then I pay you salary. You can do this thing, but you cannot do it effectively because you don't have you don't know you don't you don't have to know how. I can train you to become a professional. You want to do this, but you don't I just want to impact this generation. I just want to influence my world basically in a little way I can. Denzel Washington said Act of kindness is just showing kindness to the next to the person next to you. So it's not until I own a big NGO that I become successful. To me, right now, I think I'm on the path of success because little, little by little, I'm employing people. I'm providing job opportunity. People are getting trained, and to me, that's a success. That's what success is to me. I see myself and my company, Camera Boy, or basically, I see Camera Boy as a big multimedia hub. By hub, I mean where a lot of creatives are in here. They see this place as their house and their office, and we get jobs for them, and they go execute, like a large media hub. Basically, that's my dream. I will not lie to you. Uh, to start business is not easy. It's not for everybody, but it's for you. Now, to own a business in Nigeria is hard, but to work for somebody is harder. Think about it. So, if you're scared, it's a good thing that you are scared. I was scared when I resigned from my salary job and faced photography scarily. I was scared when I couldn't get a job anywhere I wanted and I had to resolve to photography that was my hobby. I was so scared on how I'm going to start, where I'm going to be, but the question is for how long will you be scared? How long will you stay afraid? Take the bold step. Funny enough, it's not as hard as you think. It's not as hard as you think. Trust me. If it's, a, if it's hard, I wouldn't do it. I'm not that bold. It is harder. If, but I just had to jump the boat and say, damn it, whatever's, what's going to happen is going to happen. So I just do it. So hashtag, just do it. That's all. I was invited for a wedding. Now, based on some not very so good discussion about money, we, didn't, we were not given the job. So I was there for, as, a, as a courtesy. So I brought my phone out and we were snapping. The photographer they hired was a very nice guy. Was everywhere snapping pictures then. I took a couple of pictures with my phone, snapped selfie with the bride and did all those. Then. Three months later, the bride called me, which happens to be my cousin. I was like, hi, ah, hello, John, camera boy. Please, I saw the pictures of me. And the one we snapped together that you took with your phone, I posted on your Instagram. Please, can you send it to me? I said, why? Say, ah, I am fair in real life. But when our photographer brought the picture, I was dark. I was like, hmm. OK, so you compromise quality because of money. I'm not expensive. I'm affordable. However. I'm the best you can get for the right price. My name is John Leku. I am the camera boy.